I'm out in Scarborough and you can see the forensics team is still here. It was the scene, of course, of that horrific triple murder last week. And we're learning more details about just how those victims died. I can say that a crossbow was uh, seized from the scene. Homicide detective Mike Carboni releasing some of the graphic details today about the horrific attack last Thursday that left a woman and two men dead and a third man injured. Their bodies found splayed across the driveway and in the garage of a home near Markham and Kingston Roads. The cause of death of the woman found in the standalone garage was ligature strangulation. The cause of death of the man found in the standalone garage was crossbow bolt stab wound to the neck. The cause of death of the man located on the driveway was a single arrow's head stab wound to the neck. Brett Ryan was arrested at the scene. He's now charged with three counts of first degree murder. Police are trying to figure out a motive. I'm hoping that my appeal here today uh, in reaching out to anyone who may have communicated with this individual, either on the 25th or even prior to the 25th, um, I would like to speak to them. Police say specifically they would like to talk to anyone who may have seen the 35-year-old the morning of the murder between 7.30 and 11.30. There was, of course, a second scene to this investigation, a building down on Harborfront. Police got a call there at the same time as the attack. Carboni says it is a legitimate part of the investigation, but offered no details. I will not get into the specifics as to what was located in there. There were certain items in, 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 the, uh, in the dwelling. However, uh, at this point, I can say there was no danger to any members of the public. City News, of course, told you about the fact that Ryan was the fake beard bandit who was found guilty of robbing several banks nearly a decade ago. But Carboni says, as far as he knows, they've had no dealings with Ryan since. As for the names of the victims, in an unusual move, they remain under a publication ban. When we became involved, uh, the identity of the three individual had, individuals that had been murdered uh, was uh, still not confirmed. It's not clear how long police will remain on the scene. As for Ryan, he has another court appearance on Friday, and it is at that point that we could see that publication ban lifted and the names released.